Well, hello, and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothica Armada 2 here on Boutique Plays Whatever. In a previous episode, we did the, uh, do, 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 do. um, the prologue? Yeah, we did the prologue. I split it up into two episodes, uh, which was actually kind of a pain. I didn't have any save points, which made it kind of difficult for me to, f to navigate it, and it took about an hour, but then again, you know, I was just getting used to the, to the, uh, the way the game is played you know when you're figuring out the controls especially for something as tactical as this game is there's a whole bunch of stuff there's a steep learning curve and uh, I was able to get through it on my second try which I failed the first one because I didn't understand the tutorial directions and that happens sometimes I just go on a tangent and, you know just the, way, just the way I am uh, but we are now days away from the full release of the game where there's going to be a whole bunch of campaigns and I don't know exactly how I want to play it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing all the campaigns or if I'm just going to pick and choose which ones I want to do. We'll see what the game lets me do as far as picking them if I have to complete other campaigns in order to do other campaigns like, you know, like this one for instance, like Empyrean. I can't play the Necron until I, um, you must complete the Empyrean campaign tutorial first. So I have to complete the first part of this, which I'm allowed the first part of this and the first part of the Necron um, to play before the full release comes on out. Now, if you're seeing this, this might be in the whatever time slot. It might be in the builder time slot. Um, I'm kind of, it's all over the place right now because I'm, I think I'm going to end up picking up Resident Evil 2. Uh, the demo one shot was just aired um, yesterday, I think, is when this still airs. So I think it was yesterday that it aired. And so... Um, I'm probably gonna end up picking it up. That was such a great game and such such fun. And of course, I didn't beat it, even though it looks like I did watch somebody else's uh, playthrough of it afterwards. And uh, I was actually relatively because I just said I had to make my way back to uh, the beginning. Of it. But enough talking about other things. Let's go ahead and start the campaign. Hopefully, I can save so it makes it a little bit easier for me to do episodes. But we'll see. The Imperium for the Emperor. The far-flung Imperium of the Man knows only a war for survival. Assailed by traitors, treacherous Xenos, and the uncaring galactic waste, humanity battles on as the Emperor's light grows even darker. The Cadian Gate stands besieged by abominations from within the Eye of Terror. It falls to Admiral Spire, hero of the Gothic War, to marshal the Imperium's scattered fleets and hold the line against the horrors of chaos. Cool. And of course, if you guys watched the prologue, that was... The end of that was just of crazy good. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. A million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself. For there is no peace amongst the stars. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke-wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God, and their crews dedicated to the Omnisire's holy cause. The Scola Progenium molds callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. Hmm. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic Sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man, and his time is coming once more. 
<laughs> this guy's been floating around in the in the ether for years, Praise centuries. Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress signals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral. The year. It's nine 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 M forty one. He's been lost in the warp for over eight hundred years. Yes, yeah, centuries. Acadia, the hymnals report that it's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral, Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Gela field holding. This is you can already tell that this guy's a badass, right? I mean, Rally at coordinates one he's like, yeah, we're 800 years out of the time. His ship is ancient. I mean, you can only surmise that the amount of technology has advanced a whole bunch, but he's just like, nah, I got this. You know, we're going to taste sweet revenge. Mm -hmm. Licking at his lips. If he... He had lips, right? I think. I don't know. There's a lot of different things, a lot of different types of people in this game. Uh, some might not have lips. But I do love the artwork so much during these cutscenes. Um, I was trying to think of the game that I played that would kind of remind me, and that's uh, the 11-11 uh, Memories Retold um, game that I played uh, a couple months ago. Uh, where it's just kind of a paint, paintish kind of look and feel to it. I mean, it looks beautiful, and I really like it here. The, the cutscenes are gorgeous in this game. The gameplay, I'm still leering to Such itself. Problems. There is not since the eye of terror have I found anything like it. Oh, we're we're gunning something Wait. big and bad here. Twelve and twelve, baby. This is not the Cadian system. Navigator, report. The Immaterium rides, Lord Admiral. It has flung us far off course. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far. But not close enough. Still, we have been fortunate. Have our astropaths send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. We hold this position. Do we? What is this I smell? Another so-called warrior come to chance his blade? I am Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your Oh yeah, this little ship? Oh hell no, man. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the War Master's throne. We shall see. Ready main batteries. You give me into this little ghost sector. Cruising speed set. Go ahead and just, we'll just go auto on that. Mark him as one. Can I get a full turn here? Thank you. Cruising speed set. Um, uh, I guess we can fire torpedoes. Did I fire them already? I guess I did. Okay. So let's go ahead and expediate this, now that we know what we're doing here. And this guy's pretty much done. Yeah, no chance. No chance there, dude. Um, can I get you with the skull? Let's go ahead and close in to in medium engagement. Are we in medium engagement? Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Let's go short distance. I would like to keep this um, them on my left side. Damn, this guy's got... Some serious turning room capabilities. Boom, that's how you do that. A little quick turnaround. And then just one more little quick turnaround. I should be able to get it. Perfect. And then one more little quick turnaround. Do I not have port side shots? Okay, he's done. I don't want to waste too much on this guy. We only have two more weapon shots. The sons of Mars stand ready for your orders. Excellent. Their firepower will be a great asset. 
Well met, Fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire to ours. So who's the we'll flagship? There's there's two flagships. Okay, let's go ahead and sec all these guys into one. Go fire at will. Let's go ahead and keep maximum engagement distance. Um, let's go ahead and set this guy to priority one. And then set this guy to priority two. Can I go ahead and... Can I lightning stop this guy? Okay. That's fine. Boom. Take care of this guy. Now is this the... Oh, that's just right weapons skill. Okay. What's this guy traveling through the freaking... Through the asteroid field for? And what do you have at your disposal there, buddy? Can I get these guys at... This guy's at medium distance. Just kind of pound away at these dudes. Impossible, Admiral. That is not impossible. Unless it's a different ship. Impossible, Admiral. I don't believe that's impossible. Is this thing destroyed yet? No, it's not. Some meta torpedoes. Oh. Do those not track? Or are those just going off in the distance? That's okay. the last of them, my lord. Negative. They were but the tip of the spear. I calculate that the no, others will soon arrive. Everybody meet up here. It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison. This is nothing. Let's actually head towards this gas field. Heroes. What I wouldn't give to have Captain Abradol at my side. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge new heroes. Let's go ahead and set those guys to one. Let us hope they survive. Yeah, let's Seems make it. They've come in strength, Lord Admiral. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. Survival probabilities are unfavorable. Recommend we withdraw. All ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. Beneficent Emperor? Is that what I think it is? The Sons of Dawn heed your call, Lord Admiral. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Faith is well enough, but hope and faith bring victory sooner. The war never ends, Lord Let's go ahead and get him out of We shall fight strange. it together. Thruster routines active. The spirits obey. Can I get a lightning striker? Thank you. You, you need to hurry into this, man. Engines engaged. With matchless efficiency. Let's get him over there. Where's this rally coming in? Oh, more Transition morale points. Begun. Okay, you get over here. Go do a full turn. Nominal speed. All right, good. Everybody, <clears throat> top priority. Who know? He needs to get the hell on out of here. Oh, no, for it. You. Target 
Target on screens. Priority level two. Weapons damage. So can we Can I target his focus on there? Boy, this guy's taking so much damage. Optimal course set. Engaging drive. Yeah, just keep him out of out of weapons fire. Calculating vectors. Alright, good. So his shields are gonna recoup here. Very nice. Boy, that guy's got some range. My God. But we got we got shields up and running. We're good. Okay. So you can I? Um, no, I want you to fire anything. How about you? What do you got? Oh, you got drones. Impossible, Admiral. It's not impossible. Just highly improbable. No, you keep out. Of you keep out of distance here, bro. Can I get a lightning strike? Thank you. Look at him still pipping away at my boy over here. Transition begun. You get over there. Expediate yourself. While we take down this last little guy. What do you have at your disposal there? Impossible, Admiral. Yeah, you just recoup everything there, bro. Okay, Understood. you go ahead and make your way on over here. Engaging engines. Cruising speed set. Not within range. He's almost done now. Underway. So let's keep him. At that kind of distance. Come on, head on. Head on. Firing torpedoes. Did we miss? Yeah. Can I get some Stormhawk Raiders over here? Perfect. Lightning Strike. Impossible, Admiral. It is not impossible. Impossible, Admiral. I'm pretty sure that's not impossible. There we go. He's down to one troop. Do any of these guys got boarding stuff? This guy's just getting freaking pounded. I gotta keep him safe though. See that guy like, it seems a lot tankier. I think it was this was the commander commander ship. Go ahead and give me a full turn. And then fire. Oh my god, I missed it. I gotta get the timing down a little bit better. So give me a turn here. Give me a wait. No, give me this. Perfect. It's over. How's that not over? Oh, he got his shields back up. Stay on target. Stay on target. Boy, this guy's got some freaking used out shields. Oh, I gotta recoup my energy. Come on, one more shot. Come on. Full turn. Readjust. Nice. Last traitor vessel destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. And allied ships. Nothing more. 
Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drang as how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Kadia. Alright, not too bad. Sorry to get in the swing of it. It's definitely a high pace of us. Uh, well, I did have it on maximum speed, or not maximum, but second to maximum speed. You know, just because it does take a little bit of time for some of these things. But we shall prevail if the Emperor wills it. What is this nonsense? The despoiler will be driven back, but we need support. We must secure planetary systems within the battle zone. These will provide us the necessary means to strengthen our fleets. Oh, cool. Sectors. Admiral Spire's forces are currently located in the Cadian Sector. The Sector is constituted of several systems whose conquests allow you to, to progress through the campaign. Okay. Threat level. Uh, the threat value represents the will of an enemy faction to conquer a sector. The higher it is, the more that faction will be active there. Urgency gauge. So where are these gauges on it? Is this up here? It must be a... Fleets. Chat. Active fleet's capacity. Okay. <clears throat> the urgency gauge symbolizes the urgency of your situation facing enemy factions. It fills up each turn and drops when you fulfill objectives. The urgency gauge is divided into five segments. When a segment is filled, the threat value of all enemy factions is raised by one. If the last segment is filled, the campaign ends in failure. So... The threat level. Use it to select the Belzar point of interest. So. Okay. Use the right click to select Admiral Spire's fleet. 165. Demios Binary has much to offer our future operations. But it is occupied by Chaos forces. We shall sweep them aside and restore the Emperor's rule to this stolen world. Okay, so... Points of interest. Oh, after several turns... Oh, no, no, no! Why was I skipping things? I already skipped every attributes. Effects provided points of interest may be varied depending on the system. Annexation, defeat enemy forces, station and session to take control of it. Neutral systems are seized as soon as one of your fleets moves in. Why the points of interest may... Effects... Provided by the points from the very high evolution level of the system. Okay. This is system Z. Bunch of fleet moves on in. Fleet power. The fleet power represents the might of a fleet. Depends on the value, health, and other parameters of the ships. Fleet's movement. Fleets have a pool of movement points that replenishes at the start of each turn. They can travel through safe routes between systems and sectors at the cost of one movement point per system crossed. Okay, use the blank to move Spire's fleet to the Demos binary system. So, we can't add a ship. The speed of tor tor torpedoes is increased by 50%. Power and ramming damage is increased by 50%. Fleet health. So, where are my points on at? Repair all ships. Okay, so I can't do this, I can't do that. I'd rather have this. Am I able to select this? I can't. Okay, so I can't, I don't... 10% repair rate per turn, 4% regeneration. Global income is negative 37, production 10, fleet upkeep is 47. I see. I catch you now. So this is, this is when the building process begins. Holy gee willikers, Batman, 143. Well, we are 165. Very interesting. Um, am I able to save this yet? Nope, I cannot. But there might be a cut after this right here. Um, yeah, I probably will be cut. So that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's kind of brisk, but um, it is the way it is. I think... Man, I think I could squeeze in a little bit more. You know, I wanted to end it, but I don't think... I think we could get one more. This is still... This is still a learning curve. So we have to go to the asteroid fields. So I right-click that. There will be many risks in the days to come. I need not take one here. Deploying a second fleet to Demios Binary will ease our victory. I concur with this. 
So select his fleet, and then we straight warp jump in on over here. Victory is all but certain, but caution must serve as well as haste. Recklessness is a terrible Maximum master. of three of your fleets can be stationed in a system. However, fleets can always move through a system. So, if we click this, engage in battle in the Demios binary system. So, it's a 165, 143, but these guys can always jump into us. Wow, look at all this. Can I back out? No, I can't, man. Oh my god, this thing is fairly massive. At least a good five, six planets in here. Okay, so, launch battle. Battle preparation. The engagement board allows you to make the final preparations for the battle okay leadership your leadership value represents the maximal uh, accumulated fleet value that, that can be deployed at the start of the battle okay reinforcement ships that can be deployed due to leadership limitation will replace lost ships during the battle okay deployment order the top fleet will be deployed first drag and drop your fleets to change their order of commitment in the battle okay faction leader protect the faction leader his death would put an end to your campaign so their leadership is 600 oh at this point in time so am i i guess i would rather have the commander come on in these guys to back him on up i really would like a third fleet but that's just the way it is so what is i can't click anything here okay well this is the uh still what's it called 10,000 years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus heresy. Ten millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal That's sick! Damnation. Dude, that guy's face on the left side! Holy crap! <laughs> what is going on here? His body ashes and his memory the stuff of a cursed legend. But the wounds he wrought yet gape in the hide of an embattled Imperium. For the battle against chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the civil wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of... That is sick, man. Holy jeez, the artwork. ...shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of... Oh, they got some sick-ass looking ships, too. ...as Abaddon launches his 13th and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only valor will serve. Huh. It's a good story too. I like I like a lot of the aspects of it. The the combat system is definitely gonna take a little bit of getting used to. These guys are kinda all over the place. And the range, man, the range on some of these guys is just ridiculous, man. I was trying to get that one guy on out and it was just like he kept <laughs> kept getting pipped. It's like Jesus Christ, dude. You need to run and hide in the gashes system. Okay, where are we at? So where are we at? Okay, deployment phase ready. Wait, where? Oh, here we are. Your orders. You are all as one. Let's go ahead and underway. Head on over here. What do we? Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. I getcha. So what do we got way over here? Got an asteroid field. Ship ready. 
Go ahead and expedite this a little bit. Maximum distance. Keep the ship, or the, the ship to keep the lock on the target even if you give it a move order. Ship to ceasefire. Okay, I catch you. The enemy has seized a strategic area. You have seized a strategic area. We serve. So we have to seize these areas? Can we even get there in time? Changing no, you course. know what? And as soon as they start heading this way, we'll blast, blast them. Okay. Maximum burn. Yeah, everybody get going. The enemy they has seized a strategic area. So how does that even work? So it gives them more points? Full. Let's get to these areas as soon as possible. Oh, you can send. You don't have to send the entire fleet. Just does it go quicker? I'm guessing if they all get in there. Oh yeah, hell of a lot quicker. Okay. You have seized a strategic area. So... Setting course! The enemy has seized a strategic area. Yeah, I, I gather this. So we have to collect all these points? So now it's just a race. And then the eventually we go on in. So what do these guys even look like? It's just one ship. Points. Cruising speed set! So we're going to come here, here, and then we're going to intercept. And that'll give us a total of three, which I don't know. Maximum burn! Yeah, this will give us a total of three. He's going to go over and take this one, I imagine. So boom, boom. We'll just take these little quick points, and then we'll meet him in the center to gain an advantage. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. Yeah, and we'll take this away. Enemy sighted. So they actually, if I take you guys, can I not take you guys? So is that it redoes it, and then it goes neutral? The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. Yeah, I understand this. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. You have seized a strategic area. Yeah, now get over here. Oh yeah, he had a way better... All ahead, full. ...vantage point. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Yeah, we're going to retake this real quick. Interesting. Okay. Retake this. Understood. You have seized a strategic area.
I don't think he's using the afterburners. You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. So we'll take this before he can even reach the other sector. Enemy sighted. The enemy has accumulated 75% of strategic points. You have seized a strategic area. Yeah. Start those afterburns. Burn. Yeah, he's still working on that. You keep working on that, buddy. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. Because we're starting to gain. You have accumulated 75% of strategic points. <laughs> so do we win this battle if we do this? I don't understand. All ahead, Get in here quick. The enemy has seized a strategic area. It has. Your orders? Get back in here. Heck yeah. I don't know if we're doing the correct thing. I'm assuming so. By strategic points. You okay. have seized a strategic area. Now that we have the advantage, we can engage over here. I mean, we have a clear cut advantage. It looks like we'll already win by default. Whatever this skirmish is supposed to be. Maximum burn! Go ahead, set the burners. So he has no chance of catching up to us. I mean, it looks like... Yeah. So is that what we're supposed to do? Okay, victory. What an interesting little quote unquote mini game that was. Renowned points accumulating. <clears throat> Renowned points will allow you to reach new renowned ranks, which will increase your command capacity and leadership and grant you access to new ships. Okay. The ship experience. Ships gain experience after victorious battles and thus eventually progress through levels. Each new level grants the ships improved crew bonuses, morale bonus, school cooldown reduction. Nice. Uh, weapon cadency augmentation, critical hit chance bonus, assault critical chance bonus, and warp risk reduction. Leadership experience. When a leader reaches experience level 4, his fleet movement speed pools increase by 1. Interesting. So, where does this state this on at? Okay, so we have to gain actually quite a bit. A first victory is ours. Others will follow should we remain true to our duty. Battles leave scars. I must when a fleet is involved in a battle condition the reclamation of Demius binary has taken our enemy by surprise the claustrum system is exposed we shall push our advantage if the fleet is to grow we must have access to production facilities if claustrum falls to our forces we shall have them okay damage and counties uh, destroy ships are lost for good Damaged ones are repaired and have some of their lost troops replaced at the beginning of each turn. They are located within a system controlled by their faction. Okay. Repair and troop placement. At the beginning of each turn, each of your ships located within a system under your control benefits from the following effects. Ten negative 10% hull points. Value is repaired. Oh, uh, just 10% hull points. Okay. 3% of critical damage systems are fully repaired. Three lost troops are replaced. Okay. Fast repair. You may spend resources to... Oh, no, I actually did gain a little bit of income off of that so we're not nearly as bad as we were okay you may spend resources to accelerate the repair of your ships to do so select a fleet and then a ship this will grant you access to the fast repair among other others options resources and construction points are the most valuable as they are necessary to construct new ships okay interesting so yeah that's it's just a nice little mini game so we're supposed to go to 
The Claston section? Sector? Claston? Way down over here. Okay. But yeah, but that's all the time I got for today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. And in the next episode, we'll head on down to the Claston section. Should be kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So until next time, everybody, you take it easy. And I'll see you around. Peace.